Hey, Robbie over Quadratech.com. Today we're taking a look at the Taser JL Mini and JL Lite from Z Automotive. Now, before I get into today's video, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so you'll be sure to catch all of our latest videos. The Taser JL Lite and JL Mini are essential tools for every owner of an 18 and newer Jeep Wrangler JL or a 20 and newer Gladiator JT. And it's a small electronic module that simply plugs into your Jeep under the dash in place of the secure gateway module found just above the OBD2 diagnostic port. You'll simply unplug the two electrical connectors on the SGW module and then connect them to the Taser. Now the features of the Taser are broken down into two categories, vehicle settings and live functions. Vehicle settings are things like tire size and gear ratios that you can set and then remove the Taser from the vehicle while the settings will remain in the onboard computers in your Jeep. Now, live functions will only work with the Taser installed in your Jeep. Now, both the Taser JL Mini and JL Lite are capable of doing simple tasks like reading and clearing diagnostic trouble codes, but they also allow you to recalibrate your Jeep for different size tires, gear ratios, and even transfer case ratios. You can turn off the TPMS system entirely or change the pressure at which the TPMS light illuminates on your dash. Now the Taser JL Mini also enables a few live features like winch mode, rock crawl, and light show, just to name a few. If you want to check out the detailed list of JL Mini features, you can click the info button to head over to quadratech.com. Now while the JL Lite and the JL Mini look identical visually, the JL Mini is a much more feature-rich module, and from here forward, I'll be specifically referring to the JL Mini, which is currently installed in my Gladiator. Now with the JL Mini, we can access and change the way a number of factory features behave, enable and disable things like factory LED headlights, turn signals and taillights, the Rubicon sway bar and lockers, even enable new modules that you add that weren't installed at the factory, like the auxiliary dash switches, without the need to go back to the dealer and have them reflash your vehicle's computers. You'll be able to activate them right at home in your own driveway or really anywhere for that matter. Now, once you have the Taser installed in your Jeep, we access it through the vehicle's EVIC or Electronic Vehicle Information Center here in the center of our gauge cluster. In order to change the vehicle settings, the first thing we need to do is to go ahead and start the Jeep and put the ignition into the run position without starting the engine. So you wanna keep your foot off the brake when you're pressing the start button. Now, once the gauge cluster goes through its startup cycle, we can go ahead and navigate using the up down arrows on the left side of our steering wheel to move to the audio menu. Now, once we're in the audio menu, we need to use a secret key combination to access the Taser's menu. Now, I'm not talking about a combination of up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. If any of you guys out there remember that, of course, that's one of my favorites. Now, but simply, we're gonna be using a combination of the arrow keys on the left side of our steering wheel, along with the cruise control buttons on the right side of our steering wheel. To enter the menu, we'll hold down the left arrow key, and while keeping that depressed, we can press the cancel button on our cruise control buttons, which will bring us into the Taser's menu. Now the first option we'll see here is their light show mode, which will allow you to activate a light show there are a few of them programmed already into the Taser, or you can customize them and set them yourself by plugging the Taser into your computer with the included USB cable that's also used to do software updates. The light show is a great way to get some extra attention drawn to your Jeep if you're out at a Jeeps and Java or a local cars and coffee event. Of course, you wanna make sure that you're abiding by all local laws and regulations and not using that light show mode when you're driving on the, on the street. Now to navigate through the menu, again, we're gonna hold that left arrow key on the left side of our steering wheel and use the cancel key on the cruise control settings to navigate through the different menus. We'll also be using the on off button for the cruise control to select and save different settings, as well as the plus and minus keys on the steering wheel to go through and advance through different settings. The resume key will be used to exit from the taser menu at any time. Again, all of those are used in conjunction while holding the left arrow key on the left side of the steering wheel. So if I hold the left key and hit the cancel button, we can advance 
to see any diagnostic trouble codes that may be present here. Now I do have one, it happens to be a loss of communication with the security module because I unplugged it when I installed the taser module. Advancing again, we'll give you the option to clear those check engine lights if you want. And to do that, we would hit that center on off key for our cruise control. And you can see it's gonna go through and clear the check engine light. Now again, we can advance through the menu. There is an unmarry button here. If we select that, it would return the vehicle back to stock as it were when we first installed the taser. And you should do that if you ever need to take your Jeep to a dealership for any service. Once you get your Jeep back, you can reinstall the taser, remarry it to your Jeep, and reset up all of your customized settings. Next up, we see our performance menu. And if we enter the performance menu, this is gonna allow us to change things like our tire size. You can see I have it set here for the 37 inch size tires that I have installed on the Gladiator. If I wanted to change that increase or decrease, hold down the left arrow key and use the plus or the minus key. And when I reached the tire size setting that I want using the cruise on off button in the center, you can see that tire size has been set and saved to the system. Now I can now advance to the next option, my gear ratio, four low, my transfer case ratio. The next menu comes up is the TPMS settings. So if we enter the TPMS menu, now I have the option of leaving the TPMS system on or turning it off completely. Next option I have is changing the threshold of where those TPMS lights illuminate on my dash. Now I've pulled those down to 25 PSI for the front. The factory has them set, and I believe 37 PSI. Now that's the threshold that you're gonna have to inflate your tires to bring them back to to turn off the TPMS light on your dash if you've aired down to go off-road. Now, you can also turn off that system, as I mentioned, altogether if you don't wanna see that TPMS light on your dash at all. The radio function is gonna give us some features that we can change with the factory radio setup as far as activating or deactivating the backup camera, how the backup camera comes on. We can go through the lighting menu if we enter the lighting menu, we can see now we've got options on changing the DRL types in the Jeep. We can even change whether the DRL drops out for our turn signal. So if the DRL is on and we activate the turn signal, normally that turns off when the turn signal activates. We can change the way that functions if we like. We can change the way the fog lights work. We can activate or deactivate one touch lane changes, turn on or off the LED halo on the factory LED headlights. We can also activate or deactivate any of the factory LED options here. So we've got headlights, fog lights, tail lights, turn signals, trailer tow options. Next up comes our off-road menu. Now, if we enter the off-road menu, now we've got options on activate or deactivating some of the features found in the Rubicon, like our factory sway bars and lockers. So if you've installed some aftermarket axles and you need to deactivate those Rubicon locker switches, you can come through here and do that. You can also deactivate things like the electronic power steering. If you put an aftermarket power steering setup in your Jeep, in the other menu, we can come in and activate things like our auxiliary switches on the dash. So if you got your Jeep from the factory without that auxiliary switch module on the dash and you wanna add that, in the past you would have had to install it and then take your Jeep to the dealership to have them flash the computers and activate those switches so that you could program them through the radio in your Jeep. Well, with this setup with the taser installed in your Jeep, you can simply navigate through the EVIC menu in your cluster, turn on those auxiliary switches and you don't have to pay a visit to the dealership anymore. We can also activate or deactivate blind spot, our belt reminder, park sense, and we can even change the splash animation that comes up on the EVIC when we turn on the Jeep from the Sport to Sahara, Sahara or Overland or even the Rubicon dash. We can activate the dual zone climate control, which is a great option if you've upgraded your factory radio and your factory climate center. You can change the auto headlights, panic button, we can also see the current operating version 
of the Taser software. As I mentioned before, you can update the Taser software by simply visiting their website, downloading the program and any software updates, and connecting the Taser to your computer with the included USB cable. Now the last menu option here is the full reboot. Now anytime you go through and you change any of the vehicle settings through the Taser menu here, you wanna make sure that you do a full reboot. To do that, we're gonna hit the left arrow key and the cruise on off button to start the reboot. Now it's gonna give you a countdown of about two minutes. It's gonna run through and cycle some of the systems in your vehicle as well as the Taser. You'll see the gauge cluster cycle on and off and run through a startup cycle. And by doing that, you're gonna ensure that you're saving all of the new settings to both the vehicle computer as well as the Taser and that you're eliminating the chance of your gauge cluster remaining active even after you exit your vehicle. Now once the reboot cycle has fully completed at that point, you go ahead and turn the ignition off and exit your Jeep. Now, if you wanna access any of the live features, the features that are controlled by the Taser being installed in your Jeep, you first need to go ahead and start your Jeep. So put your foot on the brake, hit the start button. Now, of course, you wanna make sure that you're doing this when you're outside. If you are in a garage like I am, make sure you go ahead and open up the doors before the start. you start the engine on your Jeep. Now, again, to access the Taser menu, we're gonna do the same procedure of the left arrow key and the cancel button when we're on the audio menu. Here again, we're gonna see we have the option to enable that light show mode. We also have some other options in motion, turn cam, hood alarm, dark mode, video. You can see we've got a lot of different settings we can go in there. We can display the vacuum or boost currently on the engine. We have zero to 30 times, zero to 60 time. Our winch mode allows us to preset an engine RPM that we can activate using a key combination here on the steering wheel. When we're using a hydraulic accessory like a winch, we can raise the vehicle's RPM, engine RPM automatically. And then when we're finished using that accessory, well, we can cancel that mode with another key combination. I'll come back to that in just a moment. Now, if we cycle out of the menu, some of the features are not menu features. They simply operate automatically with the taser installed. So one of the biggest ones that we get asked about all the time is the auto start stop kill function. And that's basically a memory for the auto start stop system. With the taser installed, if you activate that auto start stop off key on the dash, well, it will remember the last setting that you had that in. So if I turn off the Jeep, I get out, I come back, I start the Jeep up again later, it's gonna remember that I had turned off that feature. That's a really nice, convenient feature to have. It's also gonna do the same with the traction control. So if I turn traction control off, it's gonna remember that until I decide to turn it back on. We can also operate some of the Rubicon features automatically in two-wheel drive or four high. So I can unlock, disconnect that front sway bar in two-wheel drive or four high. Of course, it will reconnect automatically if the vehicle speed reaches 30 miles an hour for safety reasons. Now I can also lock and unlock both the front or rear axle lockers in two wheel drive or four high with the taser installed in the Jeep as well. Now, as I mentioned, that winch function is very convenient. So if I know I'm gonna be winching and I wanna raise the vehicle's RPMs, simply press the left arrow and hit the resume key. We'll see winch mode on. In just a second, the vehicle RPMs are gonna raise up. approach finally 2000 RPMs. And it's gonna stay there until I decide to till that function. Now to turn that function back off, again, the same key, the left arrow and resume. You'll see winch mode off. Give it just a few seconds to respond. And we'll start to see the engine RPMs drop back down to a normal idle. Now there's also a really cool function in here, a line lock function that's gonna allow us to lock up the brakes in the front of the Jeep, but leave the ones in the rear open for uh, some really smoky burnouts. Now to do that, we simply press the left arrow key, press the set plus button on our cruise control, and we wanna keep both of those depressed. 
Now at this point you'll see line lock displayed here on our gauge cluster in the EVIC. We'll go ahead and apply the brakes twice to firm them up. And now we can let go of the brake with our foot, hit the accelerator pedal, and get some nice smoky burnouts out of the back. When you want to let go of the brakes, simply let go of the keys and you'll see that line lock has been turned off. There's also a rock crawl mode that's activated if we hold the left arrow and the set minus button. You'll see rock crawl appears in the EVIC. Depress the brake a couple times to build some brake pressure. And now while holding the steering wheel keys, the taser is applying brake pressure to all four wheels, allowing us to use our right foot to build up some torque with the accelerator pedal. And then when we want to start crawling forward, we can let go of the keys and it'll release the brake pressure. Now, as you can see, the Taser gives us access to a ton of awesome features and benefits that we wouldn't normally gain access to here with our Jeep. And there's a few that I know I'm definitely gonna have some fun with later on. Now, if you guys wanna check out more information or the full feature list of the JL Mini, or to purchase one for your Jeep Wrangler or Gladiator, you can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about the JL Mini or the JL Lite, how to get them installed or how to use them, you can always leave those for us in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail.